Hi guys, come on in. I know you have a slightly different view. I'm just trying to pull up the live. I um, I saw that Scott just went live, or at least I literally just got a notification saying that he's going live making my stuffed shells. So, um, let's see. Let's see who's with us. Hi Vanessa! Hi Kathy! Hi Willie! Willie, did your husband get your Mevo going? I tried to call him yesterday. Hey, Vincent. Hey, John. Welcome, welcome, guys. If you wouldn't mind sprinkling for me, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're watching two lives at a time, tell everybody when Scott's done with the shells to come on over and say hello. Hey, Jeffrey. Oh, my gosh. i got to take my glasses off. I can't see without them. All right, so don't judge me for my colors tonight, but I think it's going to work out. I saw you change Scott's mind. I know, I know he's he's gonna make them. I think it's gonna be easy for him. Hey Walter, how are you? Hey Deborah French, I think he'll like that for when he's recovering because it's so easy to put just a few in a container or a Ziploc and take them out and heat them when you're ready to eat. He's currently stuffing them. Oh, that's good. How long has he been on? Because I literally the notification went as I was typing in my message. Hi, Barbara. Come on in. All right, so guys, I, oh, let me put this away. I was steaming flowers, as you know. But I got these adorable Bethany Lowe uh, stacker boxes, whatever you call them. Oopsie, I got a little tape. I got a little problem here. Oh, Lord, help me. Okay, so I, oh, have mercy. Why does this happen to me? Crazy stuff. Anyway, um, I, they're Bethany Low, and so, the, you know, FYI, her stuff is pricey, but I fell in love with these boxes, and I had to have them. That's it. So, then I decided, how am I going to make them look really cool? I felt that they were a little bit small for a centerpiece. Well, I could have made it big, but... Mm. I decided I was going to stick them in a giant wreath. This wreath is orange, um, poly burlap, uh, poofs and cruffles around the edge, a metallic uh, gold, and a black with a, um, a metallic stripe in it, okay, on a white base. I know it's weird, but this is what we're working with. I modeled everything under about this box now this box comes without the creepy hand sticking out of it I made the creepy hand out of Waterman's Loft clay right you get the clay at Waterman's Loft can you see the colors I used gray brown black just a pinch of red around those fingernails I opened the box I put um, some foam in there and I put a dowel through my hand, through the foam, glued the bejeepers out of it. Then, because I wanted it sticking out a little bit creepy, we're gonna fill this with some florals or some greens or something. And then I wanted my boxes to be wonky, but to also not be too wonky, right? Because I need this to line up like, so it doesn't look crazy. So I got me some foam. I put a hole in the roof of this. Are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? I just kind of got right into it, didn't I? Scott's cooking. I know he is, Alicia. He's cooking my dinner with my sauce. And I was like, hey, how come he's going live right at this second? But he might have been live earlier. Um, hey, Donna. Hey, Joan. I mean, John. Nana's not here. Nana is at the Red Rose. If you're familiar with Springfield, Massachusetts, Red Rose Pizza has been there for like a gazillion years. And it's right by the casino now. And my eldest nephew, who's the chef, came home. Gross, but I love it. I know, it's so creepy. The hand, I hope you're talking about the hand. So I made the hand, I modeled it after my own. I literally modeled it, 
filled it in, added fake fingernails that I got off the of Amazon, painted those two, and tried to do it a little bit creepy. Now, I did it in the gray because this all has her stuff on it, right? It's gray, it's gold, it's orange. Um, so I just blended my colors to kind of go with what was on the boxes. So this piece is all set. It's going nowhere. It's glued. This is glued. And I'm going to run this rod. I ran it through the tube. This is glued on, right? I ran the rod through. I'm going through here into another hole that's through this box as well. And I'm just going to glue up my dowel. And then what I don't use, I'm going to cut off. I know I put a hole in there. Not a giant one, but I know I did. Come on. Don't give Mama a hard time. Okay. All right. We're going to fill up the hole with glue. Okay. Then, I'm going to put this box the right way. I'm going to glue the bejeepers out of the bottom of this box and the hole. And my foam. So we'll have some stability. I hope I'm not going to burn myself. I probably will. Oh, you know what? I bet this was a dumb idea. Now I'm going to have to figure out without burning myself. Don't start. I know you're there. Ah! I got it. Maybe. Maybe not. Find the hole. Don't get me going. Don't get me going. St ah! He missed your call. Your I broke myself. He was pressure washing the house. Oh, I was doing that to my deck a couple days ago. And then, of course, it poured buckets. So what was the point of that? Oh, get the glue off me. Hi, Judith! I'm so glad to see you. I made a really cool wreath. Oh, I think your shirts are on their way to me presently. And as soon as I get them, I'm going to send them to you. Okay, friend? I didn't forget. I didn't forget. It just takes a long time for the mail to get here from where she is. Good afternoon, Jojo. Hi. Hi, Janice. I love Georgia. I really do. You were watching Scott Cook. I hope he's doing okay. Are you guys giving pointers? Hopefully you watch the video. All right, so now this looks pretty good, guys. It's supposed to be wonky. I'm just gluing around my edge here. Okay. We got it glued. We got her glued. We're going to fill this in. Don't worry. I got some gorgeous florals. So we got my crazy hand. Okay. So it's creepy and kind of cute all at the same time. It's not too spooky. We're going to fill in some stuff around here. I've got all kinds of goodness going on. But I think I had a couple of twiggy toys. What do I do with them? Here they are. That I'm going to stick into here in the holes where I also have some I have foam in there. I'm going to take these little pieces and I'm going to drag them around the fingers. Get down there. Okay. You guys can see a little bit better, right? I'm a little bit closer. Is that better? Okay. Hey, Brenda from Indiana. How far are you from Nantucket? Nantucket's four hours. Actually, three, because it's closer than the Cape. I'm sorry, there was a glue string in my face. I wasn't, like, seeing things. Oh, gosh. All right, so these greeneries are adorable. I got them from Michelle. What's the, num what's the number on here, Bigelow? They have all kinds of goodness and, like, it's, it's not creepy, it's gorgeous, but it gives you that kind of curly, dark vibe I was going for. It is 13356BU9. 
3356, B as in boy, U as in umpire, 9. All right, so now I'm going to fill in this little space over here, too, as best I can without ruining my box. Get into the foam. There we go. Get into the foam. Oh, gosh. Get stuff everywhere. You guys, how's he doing with my stuffed shells? He's doing pretty good? Awesome. Oh, good. I'm glad you can see better. Angie and Ellen did a good... Oh, my God. I loved it, Peggy. It was so cool. I was on there watching. I want to do one. I really do. I have done one head before. It was quite some time ago. I think it was two years ago now. And I did like all candy at Christmas time. All right, so I'm gonna cut some of this off because I don't wanna hide my Halloween, right? So the longer pieces, I'm just gonna snip that off. And don't worry, because we're gonna have tons of good greenery sticking out everywhere. I want it to be in there, but let's do this. Let's see if we can get into this finger here. If you haven't tried the foam from Waterman's Loft, I do recommend it. It's a little bit different than some of the other ones that are out and about. And I know this because I played with it and so has Vanessa. All right, so this right here I'm going to cut off because the next one is just going to get stuck a little differently and we're not going to need that. This won't show. Trust. Trust the process, people. Might just stick up a little bit, but you won't see it. Okay, so... All of this is somehow going to get stuffed into there. Don't ask, don't ask how. I don't know yet because it's awfully fluffy. But we'll figure it out. First, we got to get it together. We got to get it together. It's Sunday. God, I wish Yellowstone was on. Is it just me? Is it just me? He has them stuffed and ready for sauce in the oven. Okay. So he's got to stuff them. He's got to put them there, put a little bit more sauce on the top of them. Don't forget to tell him that. And then he's got to put more. He's got to bake them. Then when they're ready, put the extra uh, mozzarella on the top. Hope he does a good job. You guys, I just made my sticker today for my garlic salt. Should be coming in. Look at this. I got this from Ribbons to Bows. Look at this. It is so funkalicious. I'm in love with it, and now wishing I had bought more. But, you know, Nana always says, you never sell Halloween around here. And I have a ton of it, because I, I love to design for Halloween, but it's not one of my best sellers. But anyway, I do it anyway, because I love it. All right, let's see. I'm going to take off this, and I think I'm going to shove it in here. Oh, this might be too long. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Is there a shorter one? No. All right, I'm going to cut it in half. We're just going to cut it. We're going to make it work. Maybe. Okay, there we go. Um, he's putting the sauce on top of them now. Okay, good. Because you don't want, otherwise your pasta is going to get crispy and really nobody wants crispy pasta unless you're frying it with eggs and cheese if you know what I'm saying right okay you guys I honestly think this is enough I don't think I need I think I'm going to take off one more piece uh -uh. I think I am I think I am because like I said I don't want to hide these boxes were expensive so I don't want to hide them right so here we go Halloween creepy hand lots of greenery we're not throwing these pieces out hold the phone now we're going to move up to this block and we're going to decorate this with some gorgeous roses I got from Waterman's Lock let's use a big one and a bud and some peonies that I just got done steaming but I don't like this bright green. I'm going to take those off. And, let's see. Is this going to be too big? Maybe there's a smaller one. 
la 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 Okay, we're going to use this one. We're going to use that. And I have some extra leaves that I pulled up the bottom so that I can go in here like this. And even though that's a rose leaf, no one ain't going to know. No one's going to know. And I'm going to go in here. This is a little long. We don't need all of that. We're dipping and sticking, right? I want this to go right on the corner. Right in there. We're dipping and sticking again. This might be too long, but we'll figure it out. Oh no, it's perfect. Okay. And going in here with this. What happened to the eyeballs for the gumball machine? I bought eyeballs. I just haven't worked out my whole gumball machine thing yet. I'm going to get there, Judith. Don't you worry. I'm going to get there. And that other piece that I cut off is going to go in here as well. Okay. Don't cover my hand. Uh-oh. See what happened? I took her fingernail off. We're just going to glue it back on. There we go. Okay. We lost a fingernail, but, you know, she's bloody and decrepit, so they're going to come off. There we go. Perfect. Perfection. And I don't want to see any gabagool hanging out of there, so I am going to go in one more time. Try not to burn myself. Okay. How we doing? How we doing? Now, you know I, I don't do twos very good, so I need another one. I need a tiny little... We're going to use this. So these peony bushes comes with little tufts of hydrangea. So you know I have to have my series of threes because I'm obsessive compulsive a little bit about that. I couldn't just have two flowers there. That just would not work for me. Would not happen. You guys keeping an eye on Scott? Scott's wondering if you drizzled the cheese on top before putting the tray. No, you're going to bake them with the sauce on there and at the end you're going to add the cheese. Thank you, Angie. Go tell them. I did get your box, Judith, and if you watched my video, um, Nana put it all away, but I used the green, really cool ribbon that you sent me in a wreath that had the bat and the bottle. It was so stinking cute. It was bright, bright colors and it sold. And I love that ribbon. In fact, uh, oh, I put it away. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I love that ribbon. It kind of looks like spider webs. All right, so now this is what we got going on here, people. Make sure I don't see any glue anywhere. I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter. Okay. I'm going to put a little piece because I see a little drop of glue that is irksome to me. And I can't have it. So we're going to put this in. Uh -uh. Before, so it melts. It will melt, but I like to cook mine with the sauce on it. And I don't want to burn my cheese. So I do it after. But it's fine either way. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. Okay, and then I'm going to take the other piece that I cut off. And I'm going to add that too right in here because I like the glittery part about it okay I'm gonna give it a bend downward okay so I think I'm good with that side you guys with me how is our weather right now is like 60 degrees that was the high today it's it's pretty cold so I'm gonna take this little piece of gaps and cracks and I'm, what happened here oh I took it out of the stand why is my life so difficult today oh my god this morning oh I just messed up my computer I went with Miss Olivia what's it on your shirt it's a glue tool and it says wreath mafia hilarious it cracks me up uh, Jojo, I love seeing your nails pop. Thank you. I did start doing them again. 
I know. I usually can't have pretty things like this because I, I get glue everywhere. But I started doing gels, which they put over the whole nail. It's like a clear gel. And then they polish them and use a gel polish. So I probably will have no nails again in the future. But it is what it is. Not much I can do about it. But I really, really like having my nails done. I like the process. I like the way it looks. Makes me feel better. So I started doing it again. Look at what I just did. I'm gonna come on. Oh, I can't leave it in there. This is gonna be way too much. So look at. I'm gonna throw this away. Get all my glue off of there. Just put new glue sticks in there. I can't be sucking it up in here. There's too much glue on that. I won't be able to um, have mercy. I won't be able to stick the picks through it. So we'll just get another one. We'll just get another one. It's fine. I got a lot of these little poofs left over. Let's see. You guys, I gotta go buy a case of gaps and cracks. I need it so bad. I'm just gonna cut this because I want it to be flat surface. I don't, I prefer not to use the green floral foam unless I'm working with real flowers or something for indoors, you know? This is going to go over here. Let me think about this for a second. Now that I stuck that, God bless America. All right. Now my other thing is, guys. All right, this can be perfect because then the flowers are over here. I was going to take the lid off and put some stuff in it and use the glitter like that, but I'm not going to. I changed my mind because I think it's going to be already like too tall in this wreath. I'm a hot mess express. Welcome to my train to Choo Choo Town. Okay. Let's see. I miss being at Scott's so much. Like, I just want to move in, sleep in the basement, or in the magical mattress. I do love that mattress. I miss him all so much. Surprise, surprise, Angie. Hi, Joe. Didn't get my notification. I don't I don't have notifications. My journey with food is fine. I only gained eight ounces the whole time I was out with Scott. Hi, Joe. Joe, just saw Scott make a shot. I know it. Hi, Joan. What did I miss? Hi, Tina. Hi, Roxanne. If I missed you, I'll go back and um, I'll click on it. Okay, so I'm gluing my top on. I love that it's all glittered. Glittery, glittery, glittery goodness. And then I'm going to put this one cockadoodle the other way. So I sort of get that straight line, even though they're cattywampus. Does that make sense? You guys picking up on the one down? Is it Catania? Hi, Catania. Hi, Missy. Scott sending everyone. Oh, that's so kind of him. Thank you guys so much. All right, I'm going to glue the bejeepers out of the bottom of this. It says, the bottom says Bethany Lowe. So these are her designs. I, I have just recently found her. Like, I didn't know anything about her designs, but I'm, I'm liking them very much. Hey, Janet. Holy crap, is there 300 of you in here? That has, like, never happened to me before. Surprise, surprise, all Scott's watchers are... Oh, did he finish? Thank you guys so much. If you would do all those things over there, like you know, all of those, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, desperately trying to get the numbers back up. I'm almost at 3,000 followers, which is a little sad since I had almost 11,000. It's so sad, but I'm fine now. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Hi, Linda. How'd they come out? How did shells come out? Did he finish? Hey, Laura. Hi, Anna. Hi, Tammy. Oh, they're going so fast I can't read them. Hi, Kathleen and Debbie. Hey, Bonnie. He's a doll. He requests. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you, Scott. Thanks, Angie. Hi, Ernie. How, I want to know how his shells came out. 
I only left him some sauce. I figured he could have that while he was, you know, recovering from his surgery. So, all right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. All right, that's good. Look at it. It's going nowhere, right? Because everything's lined up, ready to go. Now, I am going to go with some bigger florals on this side because I need it to balance, right? Let's cut this. We'll keep the flowers a going. And I think I am going to pick this just because we always need a little extra security sometimes, right? Okay. Oh, Nana's going to be so sad she missed it. He put it on the oven, but didn't see the finished dish. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Because listen, there's no real recipe. Just throw the stuff in there and do it. It's so good. Shells are in the oven. Thanks, Sharon. Hi, Heather. Heather, I saw one of the lives that you were talking to me about. This week, I saw two actually cook for him after surgery. Yeah. Um, and I hope I did and filled out the form correctly. Could you let me know if you talked to Tracy or if I did it right? Because I didn't see. I don't, I, I'm technically challenged. I didn't know what the heck's going on. Hi, Nancy. Scott Waterman. How are you? Thank you for sending your friends over. There's 370 people in here. Hey, Patricia. Hi, Ann. 367, he sees. Oh my gosh, now I see 382. You guys are going to make me nervous. You know what happens when I get nervous? Ask Scott. All right, so nobody scare me. Nana's not here tonight. She's out at one of our best, bestest pizza places in the whole wide world. And um, she's with my other nephew and his girlfriend and my other nephew, Tanner, and Olivia, my niece. We went to see The Little Mermaid this morning. It was so cute. And, all right, I need another one of Lay's. And another one of these. And again, I'm taking off the light. Let me just put that anywhere. I'm taking off the light leaves because it's too bright for what's going on. Hey, CT. 392. What on earth is happening? Hi, Denise. Hi, Susie. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for sprinkling. Thanks, you guys. Hey, Christine. The, a different Christine. Hey, Jean. You guys are amazing. Hi, Angie. Jojo, we can't, you can't send me stars, and the reason for that is because when I lost my page, I lost, it's a certain status that you earn as you move on, but thank you anyway for thinking of me for sending stars, that's very, very sweet of you. Okay, so that is big enough there, and we're going to go under with this sweet little one under here. $3.99, oh my gosh, shut up. I don't think so. Mine only says 382. Nope. 392. <laughs> that is fascinating. It's so fascinating. I hope your your dinner is fabulous. You better call and tell me how it is. Hi, Shirley. Hey, Wanda and Catherine. I thought your live was at... Sa oh, no. I'm Eastern Time. I live out in Massachusetts. Or as some people say, Massachusetts. Um, anyway, that's a, a joke that happened when we were at Scott's place. Thank you so much. I'm glad you love us, Connie. What, who are they not send our Judith? I know. Seriously, Judith. Facebook just needs to get to know who I am already. Give me my peeps back. All right. So I need a little bit of orange over here. and We're going to go in with this tiny little bud. Because, again, I don't want to hide what it says on there. It says Happy Hauntings, and I think it's adorable. And it has, like, these kind of creepy orange and black butterflies on there. All right. So we're going in. All right. So here's what we got. Creepy hand, right? A little cluster here, a little cluster here. And maybe... I think I need another one of these down here. I see a little hole. So let's see. Thank you, Susie. Thank you, Carly. Did you find your man? No, Lord, no. I haven't found a man yet. Listen, it's not that I'm super picky, but I'm kind of picky. Because I need a good man who's going to be good to Nana. And, ooh, that looks a little bit. Mm, let me just cut that down, skosh. Who's going to be good to me. They know how to fix stuff like cars and like manly stuff. Stuff I don't want to do anymore myself. Like 
change a tire, take the trash out, and all that kibosh that I don't want to do. You know what I'm saying? But I will cook for my man. I sure will. I'll cook all day long. I'll cook. If I don't have to go to my dang job anymore, that would be fabulous. Gotta have good insurance. <laughs> Gotta have good insurance. Hey from Alabama. Hey Charlotte. You need I do need a cowboy from Montana. Send him down any day, any day. Did we hit four hundred? I see three ninety seven on my end. Thank you, John Davis. Hey Sharice. Amen, sister. You got that right. Hey Scott Stinnett, how are you? Is there an age limit? Let's see, I'm fifty four. So, you know, 60 maybe would be my limit. Unless he's got a really lot of money and he's super handsome. <laughs> Just kidding. But kind of, sort of. Anyway, whatever. All right, so here we are with our giant. It's like 27 inches. And I'm going to start pulling this stuff out. All right, we're like moving our britches out of the way. Because we are going to shove this bad boy right up in there. All right. So, I did oval this out. This is a round 24 inch wreath base. And we're just going to lay it in here for now. Okay, like that. And now I'm going to glue her. We're going to glue the bejesus out of her. And you can see I have some white. The reason I used white is I was afraid it was going to get super, super dark. And I did not want that to happen. So she also has white in her sign. And there are some, I'm pulling up some of the tinsel, the, the tines from the mesh. And I'm gluing them to the back of this box. Because those things, they stick to everything. And we'll keep my box right in place. All right, and now I'm going to glue underneath here. We're going to go in here with some super beautiful designer ribbons. And I think you gave them to me, Judith. Two of them I know you gave me, I think. One is a black glitter, and the other one is a gold and black. All right, so these particular boxes have on here gold and black. So that's where I got my colors from. And of course they have orange and gray, which is why his hand is creepy like that. I tried to just match up my colors. Okay, now I can see a little hole right here. So we're gonna fill that with some greenery. My beautiful, beautiful roses that I got from Waterman's Loft. And again, I did use Waterman's Loft clay to make the hand. And it's only $11.99 a bag. It's fantastic. All right, so it's in. She's in like Flynn. Let me pull the more mesh out and let me glue this box right to these little white tines that are there. Okay? Because we don't want this bad boy going anywhere. And then we're going to add more of that beautiful floral around the edges. I think first what I'm going to do, oh, you know what would be funny if he was like holding a rose? <gasps> that would be hilarious. Let's see. Let's see if we can do that. Get this green out of here. Put you down there. And like have him holding a rose. What do you think about that? <gasps> it hides my... It kind of hides the sign. I think we're not going to do it. All right. Hold, please. We are going to use these roses in all the little places. And we're going to use greenery. Oh, Lord Jesus, that almost fell in the glue pot. Did you guys see that? Oh, my gosh, I see 405. Oh, my word. Hey, Janice. Hey, Rhonda. I see it, you guys. Hi, Cherise. Indiana here. Welcome, Indiana. Thanks so much. My name is Jojo with Jojo's Rustic Remnants. I just realized I didn't say that. And um, Scott Waterman's like my brother from another mother. I'm his sister from another mister. Our hair is related by DNA because we kind of look like we have the same hair. I'm going to pull some of these little black hydrangeas and little pretty ferns. And again, taking off those leaves because they're too bright for this particular project. 
Oh, and I don't like them. So there you go. And we're going to be adding all kinds of beautiful floral and greenery to this. All right. And then, well, let me show you what I have so far. Can you guys see this? Can you see her? She's so pretty. I don't typically use gold, but when I saw it in those boxes, I thought I have got to have it. Look at that. Wouldn't this be great for a Halloween party? It'd be super fun. We're going to have some ribbons in here, so don't panic. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm deciding. I think I want my bow to be a little off center here. I don't want it to be dead center because we have all this linear work going on right now. So let me do that first before I get any further. All right. And I have a really cute flocked a locked bat. I have to be careful when I say this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Ellen Mullen. Hey, Teresa. Black roses are my favorite. I have black roses as well. They're on the counter. I got them from uh, Scott. But because I was using the orange, I wanted another texture in there. Plus, you know, Halloween, it's early. I got a lot to do. The boxes would be great for a centerpiece. The, I, that's what I was intending when I first got them. But they're relatively small. That's why I wanted it lifted and to look a little funkalicious with the hand coming out. All right, so this is a ribbon I'm not used to using. It is a satin. These come from ribbons to bows. I got them in black and green and purple and orange, all the colors. And I am going to, I'm going to make a short tail at the top. Okay. Thank you, Ella. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing, Nancy. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Keep an eye on those noodles there, Scott. On that macaroni. You don't want to get hard. Did you make the hand out of air dry clay? I did from Waterman's Loft. Air dry clay from Waterman's Loft. It is $11.99. And, oh, I started to tell you, it's a little bit different than some of the other ones. It's a little bit drier. It's not nearly as... Um, wet or that have that slimy feel it's double bagged which i really like because it doesn't get the edges don't get hard hi christina collins thank you john davis for posting that he's got all kinds of glitter and all kinds of sprinkles he's got other colors coming i'm going to leave this kind of long because sometimes i like to do a little waterfall effect on the end okay all right, now I'm going to go in with this gold. Look at how great it looks. I think it looks great. When you see it up close, I think you two are going to think it looks great as well. Da -da -da, da -da -da. I do too, Tina. Thank you so much. Thank you for floating my boat. You guys are the bomb diggity. Yeah, this one, I'm going to put another short tail on here. This particular one is already in my shop. At JoJo's Rustic Remnants on the Etsy store. So you go to Etsy and you put in JoJo's Rustic Remnants. It should come up. It's listed under the advertising for today. You won't actually see the finished product, obviously. All right. We're going to leave this one long as well. Okay. And then we're going to go in with the black glitter. And the black glitter, obviously classic, but it matches all the rims of all of the boxes on the top and the bottom. So we got to, got to have it. The gold ribbon. Thank you so much. I love it too. It is a designer ribbon. It was uh, item number X96-1640. X96-1640. And it is polyester and metallic. It is a metallic ribbon. So we're going to do this, and we're going to do this, and I'm going to do a third little flippy doodle here. Squeeze that in and make another long tail. Okay, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Get me a black pipe cleaner. I pulled out some lollipops in case I needed them, but... This is a little bit more sophisticated, so I decided that I wasn't going to do candy in it. 
well, as far as sophisticated as Halloween can be, if you know what I mean. Right? It can be super elegant, and it can also be super whimsical. Okay, so let's get this stuff going. You come over here. You go over there. You go over here. I'm going to spread these bad boys out. Where's my tail? Here we go. I'm going to cut this a little shorter. Okay. I'm going to cut this one shorter because this is my top. Oops. I like them to go opposite of each other. So this tail will go here, this loop will go here, vice versa, and there's two on the bottom. Okay. And we got our long tails, and I'm going to come up here and snuggle up against this box as best I can. Alright, so I'm going all the way down to that frame. Hopefully, I did pack this full with mesh. I used three rolls. A gold metallic. You know what? I need a longer. La 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 la. I'm going to double up my pipey cleaners. You know what I learned? If you are like above a certain age, you call a pipe cleaner a pipe cleaner. If you are not, you call this a chenille stem. That's how I know I'm older than most people. And they call it a chenille stem. I'm like, what the heck's a chenille stem? It's a pipe cleaner. So I'm going down and around that first ring and I'm just going to bring it up because I don't want it to pucker, right? I don't want it to be like sucked in there, but I want it to be a little bit sucked in there. Where's my long tails? We're going up here. Oh, I love this bow and typically if you know me, I don't, sometimes I just do single bows, like if I use a four inch that I love. I don't want to hide it. So, all right, now what I do with that pipe cleaner? I pulled it through. What I do? Um, here it is. I sometimes, I need it to go a little bit more. I'm going to suck it up here. There we go. Sometimes I just do like a single color because they're so pretty. I don't want to hide them. But this just called for a little extra gaudy. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm gonna cut that off and we're done. All right, and so because I'm down a little further, I am gonna hump it, but we don't need to keep all these things this long. You guys like to bump out your ribbons too? Take a little bump, give it a little pinchy pinch, go into your pine tines, give it a little fold in there, and then it gives you some extra loops. You can bump it down and keep it as long as you want. I'm going to cut mine. We're going in here for another bump. Does your future husband need to be from Massachusetts? Nope, I don't care. Don't care, don't care. Like I said, needs to be a good man, a good man. We don't even have to get married. Although I would like the wedding, just so I can plan all the flowers and stuff. Is that wrong? <laughs> all right, I'm just looking for another tie in here. I'm sure I have one. Here it is. Get this going. All right, we got a little humpty hump. Do the humpty hump. Hey, ladies. Okay, now we've got our pretty ribbons. I am going to cut this short, give it a quick dovetail, and I'm going to roll it. And we're rolling. Okay. Although this little satin one, I think she's going to give me a hard time. It does have a good wire, but I'm not sure she's going to roll. Let's see. I lied. She's going to roll. Oh, she pretty. And this one's going to roll for sure. All right. And I'm going to dovetail this one. Okay. Give her a little bit of a roll. Oh, so pretty. All right, let me show you what we got going on before we finish with our flowers. Can you see me? Papa, can you hear me? 
Can you imagine this popping off your front door? I love it! Okay, so now maybe I could put, I so want a little something popping out of that guy's hand. All right, I think we're going to do that. All right, all right, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. That is going to be cute. A little something, something right up in there. All right, let's do this. A little glue so I don't make a big old pastis, a little Italian word that means giant mess. A pastis means a mess. All right, get it up in his fingers. Okay, so he's got that little bit of hydrangea flower going on in there. Okay, now let's see. We're going back in. We're going to. Oh my lord, I just dropped everything. We're going to cut that tag off. We're cutting down our roses. Okay, because we're using all this goodness. All of it, baby. I don't like to leave it on the shelf. So I've got one there, and I am going to fill in the bottom of my box here because I don't want to see that. And it's going to get glued right to that box. So it provides a little bit of support. There we go. We're going to triangle these out a little bit. Hey, don't get crinkled. I don't want no wrinkled ribbon. Get up in there. Okay. We're going to go black up in here, I think. So let's do this. Right up in there. We definitely will need one coming out of the top over here. Are you guys liking this project? I hope so. Hey, Karen. Thank you, Christine. He needs a knife. Oh, a little bloody knife. Oh, my gosh. That is a good idea, Julie. You always have good ideas. A little on the dark side, friend. A little on the dark side. But that's okay. <laughs> Let's see. I do think I want another one up here a little bit there just that little bud sticking out We've got another one and it's gonna go in here but we're gonna wait I'm just gonna wait see where we need it all right so these bad boys are all coming off don't you worry I got some more goodies <gasps> I am working on a centerpiece you guys it might be a centerpiece it might be um, a giant wreath, but I got the most incredible Frankie coming from another maker on Etsy. I cannot wait to get it, but I have a special, special animated surprise that he's going to be holding. It's going to be so cool, but I have to find, I have to ask Jana, I think Jana, to make me, oh, I put myself a little metal sign that it looks makes the guy look like he's talking. Does that, does that make sense? It shouldn't, because I'm really, I'm just talking in circles. But it is what it is. So, we got peonies, we got roses. We're gonna be glitter bombing this too, because I've got um, some black and copper balls. Not really. They say copper, but they're a little bit orangey copper. So I think they'll work. And if not, we'll just stick with the black. Okay. I'm so happy with my bow. Look at me getting all bougie with the bow. All right. We're definitely going over here in between. Oops, hold on. Let's take that off. Let's let that dry before I don't burn myself. I wanted to take the leaves off and I forgot. In between this rose and that little rose bud, we're going in with that black hydrangea. Okay. You guys, this stuff is going nowhere. See it? It's like, sorry, it's going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Nothing's falling out. Okay. We're going to go with, ouch, um, get these off, maybe. There we go. Get off! They're sticking to me. Lord have mercy. Uh, in between these two orange, we're going in there with another black. Up there. 
because this, I want you to be able to see it from, oopsie, every angle, right? So if it's on your front door and those trick-or-treaters come, they're going to see it from every angle. Okay. And I'm going to lighten up this side, too. Right up in there. The little peep of, oh, Lord. Let me cut that off. Ugh, stop it. There we go. Little pop of hydrangea to help it stick out a little bit. And these hydrangea have the little frilly greens, so we're definitely using those. Get in there. Get in there! Um, Luciano and Gia are both asleep in Nana's spot. Where Nana sleeps. Probably the couch snoozing. Yeah, they're both asleep. She's not uh, snoring, which is a little bit shocking, but she's probably like half asleep because Nana's not here. So, oops, that's a little bud. We're going to keep that. We're keeping it. Yes, we're keeping it. Get in there. Okay. And that over here. All right, where are my greens? We're going to cut these up. This is a pusher, too. Oops, except if you're like me and you're a delicate flower and you push your stems oop, right off the edges. Because we're going to go around the edges with this so that you don't see so much mesh. Thanks, Betty. It was cool today, Debbie. It sure was. We went to the movies. We actually took our blanket because we thought it was going to be freezing cold in there. But it was not. It was very comfortable. They must have realized how cold it was outside and turned the air off. Have any of you out there seen the new, uh, what do you call it, live action... Uh, Little Mermaid, it's adorbs. It really is cute. And I didn't fall asleep in it, and that's how I know. Because sometimes I go to the movies and I go <laughs> right out. But I did not. I watched every little thing. The dog's name is Max, which cracked me up because I used to have a dog named Max. But it's really good. I liked it a lot. Get in there. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Wish I could be part of the world. Oh God, it was good. There was a woman sitting next to me. And I said, I'm going to apologize right now just in case I break into song. She was like, okay. I don't think she thought I was very funny. And then at the end, she goes, well, you didn't break into song. I said, I tried to keep it inside. <laughs> there was a little girl in front of us. And she was like standing, but it didn't matter because of the way the seats are there. And she was like, whenever one would start singing, she would just go like, da -na 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 -na. like she was just feeling herself. And that movie, she was in love with it. I think her mother is probably going to be so sick of hearing The Little Mermaid because I think that little girl is going to sing it forever. She was just so adorable. Nana went, Karen, my older sister Karen went, my younger sister Maria and her daughter. It was a girl's day. A girl's day. Oh, I'm loving the greens. Loving the greens. Because they're like super, you know, whimsy and flirty and all the good things we love about greens. This is good. It's super good. This is a big one, you guys. She's a big one. Don't judge me for being pricey. I went a little hog wild with those boxes. Ooh. Little hog wild. Okay. We're filling in so you don't go and see a ton of that white background, you know. Let me turn that. There we go. 
Now, I have a couple things. I have a couple things. I have this big old spidey. And I was thinking about setting it right up there. But I'm not sure that you can see it. What do you think about that? Should we have a spider up there? Or, but I didn't forget my balls. I could put this really cool bat. It's blocked and let it sort of float above it, which I think is probably a better idea. So give me hearts if you want the spider. Thumbs up for the bat. Hearts for the spider. Thumbs up for, hey, Verna. Oh, yeah. He was making his shells. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, Tony loves the spider. I saw it my grand his birthday. We all dressed like mermaids. Oh, that's so fun! Olivia has not gone to D.C. yet. She doesn't go until June, uh, the day after her school lets out. Can you what? Did I miss something about the dogs? Hold on. Yes, I took the pastor's girl. Oh, it was so fun. Jojo, have a beautiful... Oh, thanks, Patricia. I don't really, but I think I do, so I just do it. I thought I saw something about the puppies. Did I miss it? I must have missed it. I can't see it. The bat. The bat. Okay, everyone's saying the bat. I kind of agree because the spider's tough to see. But if I do this and I leave it sticking out. Hold on. You just do a little test run here. I think you get a little more bang for your buck if I leave it hanging out. You know what I mean? What do you guys think? Yes? Alright, I've seen a lot of hearts. Thank you, Christine. Tell me what you're going to... Tell me what you're going to do, machine. What? Definitely bat. All right, everyone's saying yes to the bat. All right, let me cut this down to skosh. I don't want it sticking out the back, but I need it long enough to stick out. And the hand is going that way, so I want my bat to fly out the other way. Like that. Be a little bit tall. Okay, let me just glue it, make sure it stays. Use my rose as a balancing. A little balancing business going on there. And I'm going to glue the bottom, make sure that stick doesn't come out as well. Okay. What are you doing, Luciano? There's Lou. All right, I got stuff everywhere. That's all right, Nana will clean it later. We've got a couple of this, so I think I'm going to use, instead of the balls, guys, I think I'm going to use these. I, I think it's getting a little bit crazy, and I don't think the balls are going to add anything to it, but since I used these already, I'm going to add a few more. All right, let me see. Where are they going to go? we got one there and one there, so we're going to come up out of here a little bit taller there. Plus, I can see a little white right there, and I don't want to. Oh, I like that. That's good. I like it. I like it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Fix my bow, because I keep stomping on it. All right, and we'll get some good pictures of this bad boy tonight. Maybe I'll do a two down here. Let's see. Two little fun things sticking out the side. Okay. Hold on, Lou. Big boy wants to go out. All right, we're going in there like that. And then we're going to use these on the other side because they're just fun. Can you guys even see those? They're so thin. Coming up right out of this bow over here is where we're going to do that. Hang on, Lou. Mom's coming. right behind that bow 
Okay. I think we're done. I'll have to, you know, hang it up, double check it. Uh-oh, this just fell. Don't like that. It's got to go a little taller. Get on over there and behave yourself, those little doohickeys. And I'll take some pictures, make sure it looks right. We'll get her a-going. What do you guys think? Those boxes are so stinking cute. It's super full, nice and thick, looks good from all sides. It's thick like my thighs, baby. She's thick. All right. Do you guys like it? Oh, thank you, Janet. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Sarah and Donna and Kathy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Brandy. Thanks, Deborah and Tracy. Oh, you can see Gia. She's sitting over there in the corner. Can you see her? Thanks, Peggy. Thank you, Janice. Oh, thanks, Vincent. You're so positive. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kimmy or Kathy and Barbara, John Davis. Thank you, John. Oh, thanks, Julie. Thank you, Carly. Thank you all for coming on. I appreciate all the energy without Nana being here, you know, to give me the business. It's kind of a, it's a little harder sometimes to do lives. Thank you, Margie and Christine. Thanks, Max. Thank you. All right, guys. I think I'll give you one last look. And I think we're going to hop off. We're going to hop off. Should we get you closer? Can you see that hand up in there? Right, lots of roses and peonies, some greenery. I might need a little greenery up top, like up in here. Up in here, up in here. But other than that, did Scotty eat his stuff yet? Should be done by now. Thanks, Ada. Thank you, Tina, Betty, Julie. Have a good night, Julie McCoy. Oh, thank you so much, Julie. Thank you, Verna. What do you do? Do you see what's going on over here? Can you see him? He just wants my attention, so he's going going like this to my ribbon. All right, I'm gonna add a little greenery at the top, and it will help me hide um, that little post from the back that I don't I don't love seeing the guts. You know what I mean? But somebody needs to go outside good night Alyssa and Sarah thank you all so very much I hope you have a great evening thank you for stopping by I will be live again on Wednesday 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and I don't know what we'll be doing but I hope you have a good time be kind to one another it's important much love goodbye